The publisher of the Journal Gazette newspaper believes Fort Wayne City Councilman Jason Arp crossed the line in a mailer sent to voters in the run up to Tuesday's city elections. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Jackson. And I'm Tom Powell. We're glad you're here tonight. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Jeff Newmeyer shows us the flyer and looks at why the head of the newspaper thinks it is threatening to the media. Republican Jason Arp had a close call, but was re-elected in the 4th District Council race. Arp didn't win the favor of Journal-Gazette publisher Julie Inskeep with this flyer mailed to voters in the 4th. It was an attack on the media, and one that I thought was totally inappropriate and I just couldn't let pass. Inskeep wrote a piece in the paper's editorial page titled, An Open Letter to Jason Arp, calling Arp out for the mailer, which showed a picture of himself holding a baseball bat, and in capital letters it read, Beat the Media. Inskeep wrote, why would you tie your campaign message to the bat-wielding photo and language that not so covertly invited violence? Inskeep cited the murders of five staff members just over a year ago at the Capitol Gazette in Annapolis, Maryland, pulled off by a shooter who admitted being angry with that newspaper's coverage. Any suggestion of violence to the media is, is terribly inappropriate, and from an elected official, I was shocked. Jason Arp himself led on that there's no real controversy here, actually making light of the mailer and its message. The card was made to look like a baseball card. It looks just like, a, you know, Pete Rose. He told us the image of the bat and words beat the media was not about inciting violence, but instead brought attention to the fact the journal opposed him in the last four election cycles and that like a good hitter, he couldn't be kept down. You know, four hits, four pitches, so, and we did it, four, four wins. All right, thank you. ARP took special satisfaction in getting past Democrat challenger Patty Hayes, despite being outspent 3-1, to one, saying the outcome reflects on the quality of the people in southwest Fort Wayne. The journal endorsed Hayes in the 4th District contest, but Inskeep wrote that the paper has published more than a dozen commentaries submitted by ARP, along with others he co-authored. Jeff Newmeyer, Fort Wayne's NBC. Inskeep says the journal held off on the opinion piece about ARP until after Election Day so as to try to not influence the outcome of his contest with Patty Hayes.